Hey, I'm John, and the lovely people behind this channel have invited me to become part of the Pride Book Club, and they, ha they, <laughs> and they've even sent me a load of lovely, and they've even, everything's so lovely, oh. and they even sent me a load of books. Look, my hideous carpet, and loads of books. Out of all of those books, I was immediately drawn to Giovanni's Room, because it was written by James Baldwin. James was a subject of a film, but James, James, like, we're on first name terms. No, James Baldwin was the subject of a film I watched recently called I Am Not Your Negro, and it was brilliant and definitely worth a watch. Until that point, I had no idea who James Baldwin was, because in terms of black rights, I was only ever told about Martin Luther King, but James Baldwin was just incredible, and um, that that's the story of how, of how we met. The book is quite short, uh, like it's only about 180 pages. It's in that little font that all the classics are done in. But that might look a little bit off-putting, like looking at you, Great Expectations, but actually this is really, really easy to understand. The book follows David, who is an American living in Paris, and his, his relationship with an Italian dude called Giovanni. And they're both guys, this is Pride Book Club, it gets pretty gay. GAY! I'm allowed to do that because I am one, and also I've just decided that we're gonna reclaim that as a compliment. Giovanni's room refers to Giovanni's room, which is where David and Giovanni first have sex, it's where they they live together for a while, and there's also some metaphorical stuff going on there too, but I don't want to spoil anything. You know when you start reading a book and it's, it's all nice and you're really chilled, and then suddenly the book's theme starts hitting you, and you, you fall back screaming about how relatable the whole thing is. That's what it was like for me reading this book. I think shame is probably the biggest theme that I took from this book. The, like, the feelings of shame that come with realising that you are attracted in whatever way to people that society tells you and has always told you that you shouldn't have. And it's that sense of not knowing why you feel ashamed and where that comes from and then understanding that it's actually ingrained within you. I think it's fair to say that shame is probably part of most of the characters in this book, their, their development, and that is concluded to various degrees or not at all, and I think that while this book was written quite a long time ago, it's still completely applicable right now. Um, this book got me really deep. I'm just putting that out there, okay? <laughs> like, man. <laughs> Relationships with women is also a particularly prevalent theme that I picked up on. Men starting off in heterosexual relationships, then going to non-heterosexual relationships, and then back again. And the battling of how that feels, and what you want to be feeling, and the, the awareness that you are causing pain in other people's lives, and... Like, it was just like reading my life story. <laughs> because I think men have a really complex relationship with women in the first place, but then I think gay men kind of, they, they sidestep slightly and you get a whole load of other stuff coming in there too, like outright hatred for women, whether that's down to resentment or jealousy or just a load of other problematic stuff. And this kind of bleeds into the, the, the notion of there being masculine and feminine roles and the whole, like, oh, which one of you two is the woman? A lot of this is exploring characters trying to feel comfortable with whatever they've got going on, whether that be the threat of upcoming marriage or just being gay. I, I am actually really fond of this book now. Like, it surprised me and it made me realise that I'm not reading enough books with LGBT plus characters in them and how happy it makes me feel to read books with LGBT plus <laughs> Have you ever been surprised by a book? Why? Like, let me know. Yeah, if you've got any other thoughts or stuff about what everything that I've talked about, by the way, please, please comment below because I would love to chat with you all about it. Pride Book Club will continue. Um, he says as if nothing will be comparable to this video. Like, this is the end, guys. No more, no need for pride. We're done. The gay agenda is complete. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this series will continue. So make sure you're subscribed and there is more information about it in the description box below. And if you want to talk about it on social media, make sure you use the hashtag. And um, yeah, if you want to if you want to see more of my face, then my channel is John Aitken, and you can talk to me on Twitter at John Be Here. And yeah, it has been a pleasure being here. Oh my god, I sound so insincere. I know I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> also, it's about 10,000 degrees right now, and this book is a great fan. Just, just another recommendation. Multiple usage.